everyone welcome back to my channel welcome if you're new and welcome back if you're not today i'm doing a timu haul i haven't done a timu haul in so long so i'm excited to be sharing this haul with you it's a smallish haul it's just one of those hauls where i went online one night and it's like yeah i want one of those and one of those and one of those actually this one was um ordered at the end of February, beginning of March. I had ordered a few things for Easter and one thing for um, St. Patrick's Day, but I never got around to them. I just threw it in a, in a corner because of everything that was happening here um, in my life. But anyways, now I'm going to share it with you. I'll still use these items. They're still pretty darn useful and cute, some of them. So without further ado, Let's dive, deep dive into my Timu haul. I'm a Canadian um, YouTuber, so this is from the Timu Canada site. I find that the, the Canadian site is a little bit different from the American site. So sometimes I can order the same things as the United States, and sometimes I can't. It just depends on availability and, I guess, border rates and whatnot. And... Um, what else? Timu is an online market where all kinds of vendors happen to be online. Um, you're cutting up the middleman, so you're getting fantastic deals. Anything that I say um, price-wise, you might get it for cheaper, or you might find it um, with a different vendor, slightly different variation. But um, just because I buy something for a dollar doesn't mean you can't get it for 50 cents. I've seen a lot of um, United States YouTubers show things for like 59 cents, 99 cents, and they're fantastic. So anyways, without further ado, let's deep dive into this. You're going to hear a lot of crinkling and ASMRs, but that's just the way it is. I just didn't bother taking stuff out of the packaging so for Easter I had wanted like just a table runner I know Easter's over but um, I still use this because this is pretty darn cute um, I had wanted just uh, a table runner for my dining room table um, I didn't want something hanging over I just wanted something that I could center in the middle and then I could place my decorations or whatnot or my warmers in the middle so this is a, a linen um little table runner it's a 13 by something it's the smallest that you can buy um when you go into um the measurements it's 13 by 14 i think it's not very long so um like i said sorry for the as and they are you're going to hear a lot of crinkling i paid 244 for this so and here we go. I thought it was pretty darn cute. So look at the, the bunnies. So this is made out of linen. So, and look at that. And this is how long the runner is. So it's not too, too long, but it's long enough for my, for my purposes and for what I wanted it. So you got the two bunnies on either end and then you've got the checkered board pattern. So I thought these bunnies were so darn cute. I always think um, whenever I get stuff like this, it's like me and Wesley were the couple on it. So we're the couple bunny here. So um, like I said, it's um, kind of like this linen type material and it is well made, like the hem and stuff. So um, so it's, it's really, really nice. So right. and then you flip it over. And you got the same bunny. So there's the size of it again. So I can kind of get it all in, but kind of not. So that was my table runner. So I'll still use it. I still have to clear off my table. I'm still going through things that I have piled high on it, but getting through it. And then I wanted some pillowcases and I kind of um, couldn't find the mate to this they had sold out but I still got this one and it's really really cute it's made out of um, really really soft material I'm assuming polyester 100% um, polyester it was $2.79 and it will go with my table runner and look how darn cute that is 
the two bunnies again on the pillow. So I will still use the pillow case. And then the pillowcase looks like that. And it's really, really soft um, material. And then you have the zipper here. And this is well made too. So I'm really, really impressed. So that's what I had bought. I There was another pillowcase that would go with this, but um, I couldn't buy it because it kept, um, selling out so I just bought that one so that's pretty darn cute and it fits just an average size um, square pillow um, I don't know 16 by 16 or something um, not really sure but anyways and so it goes with my um, runner here and then I thought okay well I want more than just one pillowcase so I could use that for just a single pillow and then I found these ones they're kind of cute so the same material, um, I paid $8.24 for two pillowcases. And this is also soft material. So, and it's just the bunny ears peeking out of the florals. I thought that was pretty darn cute. So I got two of the same. So I thought I could mix and match or use the same. So. Um, even still, I can still use them now. I think they're really darn cute. And for the price, you can't go wrong with their pillowcases. I've shown you pillowcases before, so I would recommend you buying pillowcases. It, not a problem. Um, I've had no problems so far with them, so that's pretty darn cute. And then I decided that I was going to buy um, a couple of shirts that I really wanted. I bought 8Xs because I believe anything below an 8X in Timu would not fit me. I like my um, clothing a little bit baggier, a little bit longer. I probably could get away with maybe um, a Timu 6X, maybe a 5X. But I'm the type that likes my t-shirts down below I don't like them short so anyways I thought this was pretty darn cute and I paid um, $11.69 for this so then it's an 8x so it's the highest size that you can go, go in Timu it's 100% it came in this nice bag it's 100% polyester I believe um, 92% poly, percent polyester, 8% spandex. Um, so anyways, everybody says go by the measurements, but I never do because I like my clothes baggy. Like that's just the way I am. And I thought this was really darn cute. And I like my stuff long and comfy. So it says Grandma Facts on it. So I don't know if you can see. I'll... But that's the size of the t-shirt and I'm really broad across so this fits will fit me really really nice even if it's baggy in the bodice part I don't care because I want comfort when I'm at home and I'm not wearing these out like I bought these to wear around lounge around so it says grandma nutritional or nutrition facts serving size one amazing woman Percent um, daily value is unconditional love a thousand percent, humor a thousand percent, coolness a thousand percent, great advice a thousand percent, caring a thousand percent, caffeine a thousand percent, wrong answers zero percent. These facts are a hundred percent correct. So I, I thought that was hilarious. And you can also buy this as a set and you can buy it in different colors. So yeah, I thought that was pretty cute. So anyways, that's my t-shirt and then I bought another t-shirt um, as everybody knows I was married on St. Patrick's Day and I thought this would be a cute t-shirt but I never really wore it because I ended up being really sick on my anniversary and we never did do anything um, my birthday was the 12th of March and we ended up doing a lot of nice things the weekend before and then when March 17th rolled around. I was in bed all day, like in pain and puffed up and yeah, miserable. So that's just unfortunate. But anyways, we always make the best 
out of a bad situation. But anyways, I thought this was a cool shirt. It's also an 8X and it's also the same um, polyester blend as the other one. So anyways, and these are the gnomes. If anybody knows me, knows that I love gnomes. And this is the gnome shirt. So, and it's also wide, um, it's heavy. Um, so it'll be like a nightie for me, but anyways, I thought it was darn cute. So I bought that and that was, um, how much did I pay for that? Eleven sixty nine, and the other one was ten seventy eight. So not too, too bad for eight XL shirts. I mean, I could get away with probably, um, smaller sizes, but that's just me. That's just the way I roll. And here we go. Um, yeah, more, more crinkle, crinkles. But anyways, I always like when people on bag things. I know a lot of people don't like the crinkles, but oh well. Sorry, I do. Sometimes. Not always, but um, anyways. Okay, that's it. So, I really wanted something. My eyes get a puffy, especially if I do not take my medication. Um, I take Lasix, which is a medication for, um, it's a diuretic that I have to take. And um, another one that I take, it's also a diuretic to get the fluid out of my body because I've got congestive heart failure. My, my heart doesn't pump properly. It's stiff on the left side. So I accumulate a lot of fluid. So if I don't take the medication, I puff up and my eyes puff up and it looks like um, um, someone's I've gone through a fight or I've had a hard day's night. So I ended up buying these. Um, they're two piece glitter um, ice globes for facials, cooling ice balls for face and eyes, reduce puffiness and tighten skin. And I paid $8.79 for these. And I wanted something like this from Sephora, but I could never buy them because they were always out of stock. So I thought, oh, I'm going to buy them from Timu. So I haven't used these yet. I'm dying to use them, but next time I have puffy eyes, I'm going to have them in the freezer and hopefully they'll take down the puffiness. Usually what I use to, um, if I don't have something like this or ice packs or whatnot, I use spoons, um, tablespoons and put them in the freezer and then take the spoon part of things like the shiny side and I'll put them underneath. Um, to cool my eyes and to depuff them so and um anyways so here's what the packaging looks like i guess i should be sh sharing the packaging with you guys so it came intact the packaging so i was happy about that and um yeah they're a fair size actually so um here's what they look like they're liquid and then they come i think not sure if you keep that on or not, probably, but they freeze and then you're supposed to be able to go all over your face and um, soothe it and take the deep puffness out of your eyes. So we'll try that. So I thought those were cool and for the price for under 10 bucks, I thought, why not? So when I actually go to use them, I'll get back to you to tell you how I like them and to tell you if they deep puffed or not. So anyways, um, I thought those were really cool. And then I've been on a tea um, kick lately, and especially loose leaf tea. So I didn't have a strainer. Um, you know how you put loose tea into a strainer and you put to pour hot water over it, over your cup? Well, I decided to buy one. And um, it's a stainless steel um, tea strainer, fine mesh. And I paid a dollar four for this. I thought this was darn cute because it looks like a flower. And then it has the mesh to it. So we shall try it. You just put your loose tea in it or even a tea bag you could. And then put it over your cup. I guess I should have had a cup to share with you. And then um, pour your tea. So yeah, um, I've been trying alternatives. I've been trying to get off the pop, um, soda pop kick. I'm drinking uh regular soda pop right now uh 
ginger ale. Um, my tummy is not feeling well today, so that's what I'm drinking. But I'm trying to get off the kick and drink something a little bit healthier or better for me. So I thought tea would be it. Um, I tried to stay away from the caf like the heavy uh, caffeine tea, and I tried to do the um, like the herbal teas and the decaffeinated teas and the fruit teas and stuff like that for the summer. So, um, so that's what I bought. So that I thought was pretty inexpensive. So we will see. And then I decided, <laughs> me and my headbands, to buy this headband. It's a teddy bear headband. I paid a dollar sixty nine, and it's a teddy bear. They're calling it a girl's headband, but I'm pretty sure I could wear it. It's pretty darn cute and soft, and that's how it would go on my head. I thought for Mask Mondays, I know I haven't been doing Mask Mondays lately, but anyways, I thought this was pretty darn cute, and the fur on it, the full fur, is really, really nice. The, um, the headband part is pretty sturdy, and it's really soft, so... Woohoo, teddy bear headband. So I thought for the price, $1.69, yes, please. Like I said, this is a, a little bit of a hodgepodge kind of um, Timu haul because I just get on there and I just start putting things in my cart without any re rhyme nor reason, especially if I can't sleep at night. I'm always on Timu, so I go down that rabbit hole all the time. So woohoo. And then I've been wanting a gasha or a guasha, so I decided to buy this. It's um, it's not stone or anything. It's glass. It's just to help your lymphatic um, fluids in your your face and that um, to puff, like especially if you're puffy, like I am in that, just to get the lymphatic system going. So. I decided to buy that that was like 97 cents so and you're supposed to go upwards when you use a, a gua sha and you're supposed to use like um, oils or something but yeah you go up towards your heart not down and then same with um, using it on your face you want to go upwards because you're trying to um, get rid of all that fluid um, it's lymphatic fluid actually and it's supposed to disperse. Um, we all have lymphatic systems and lymphatic fluids. And if the system backs up, uh, that's the problem with Wesley. His lymphatic system um, broke down and he has problems um, with his legs. Um, and then he's got like a growth on his um, abdomen that's um, lymphatic. Um, associate it so yeah his lymphatic system broke down because of his weight now that he's had his um, bariatric surgery he's doing really really well he's lost about 150 pounds and he's maintaining so far so that's from last September until now which is April something uh, I like whenever this video goes out which will be today or tomorrow um yeah about 150 pounds since then so that's what six months um he started his journey he, the doctors pretty much told him that he would have to lose weight or he would die because he's got other problems as well so um yeah so bariatric surgery happened february 26th um we had some scares at the beginning after it but um, he's bounced back and he's actually um, doing pretty well. He can walk better. Um, he actually can drive now. Um, he's in a better mood. Um, it's as if he's lost a person. So it, literally. So he still has a ways to go, but I'm really proud of him. And yeah, so your lymphatic system, get back to my point, your lymphatic system is really important in your body. And um it's a pulling system, so it goes all around your body in that, and we all have it. And if um, the pressure points of the lymphatic system breaks down, like in Wesley's case, then you end up with pools of lymphatic fluid, and somehow you got to get it up off your um, system. If not, you end up with a lot of problems. So, and that's why you go up 
towards your heart and your face and stuff. So anyways, that was a long story short <laughs> um, about my washer tool. So anyways, I decided to buy it. Um, why not? We will see what happens with it. So um, I ended up with also um, bunny ears and I paid $1.34 for them. They're okay. I mean, they weren't what I expected them to be. I don't know what I thought it, I expected them to be. Um, I liked the teddy bear ears better, but oh well. These are purple, and that's what they look like. They're soft, but they're really, really hard. So um, it's more like wire in here than anything. So um, if you're looking at anything like this, it's more wire. It feels like um, pipe cleaner type situation, more so than fuzzy, nice full fur, like the headband for the teddy bear. So just letting you know. So it's not what I thought it would be, but still pretty cute. And then I ended up picking up, I'm almost finished this one, is a three-piece fine angled eye liner brush precision dual set for $1.52. I kept seeing them on Timu and it's like, well, I should buy something. Um, I've got like the thin, thin angled one, but these brushes look pretty cool. And um, I thought, for, why not for $1.52, was it? So, and that's what they look like. So very basic. I mean, they're not expensive. I don't expect them um, to last any any great length, but anything that helps me put on eyeliner, yes, please. And then, what else did I buy? Oh, I'm into Highland cows. I always have been into cows, especially Highland cows now and miniature Highland cows and fuzzy cows and stuff. So I saw this and I had to have it. It was a Highland Cow Mounted Rear View Mirror Pendant. Honestly, you could probably put it on your purse. I wouldn't put it in my rear view mirror. But anyways, I thought it was darn cute. Wesley just thinks I'm just, whatever, over the top. And every time we go out in the country, we pass this one. Um, it's a farm. It has all kinds of miniature ponies and horses and that. And then it has a couple highland cows. I just go goo-goo over them. So um, this is what this looks like. It's glass or acrylic. And so I thought he was so darn cute. And then I guess you have to put your own chain on. So good luck with me, right? And putting the chain on. So you put the chain on. So I'm going to hang it off my purse, to be honest. But for $1.99, I thought, why not? Yes, please, a Highland cow. So if I could, I would have a miniature Highland cow in my backyard. But living in the city here and that, people would have something to say about it. So yeah, they would not be happy. And then last but not least is this washa. Um, it's $2.97, and it actually has... Um, it's for your, actually has a handle and it's meant for your back and your limbs and stuff. And same idea, you go up towards things and yeah. So anyways, I'm going to try the, the glass or the acrylic washes. I know they're not the stone or the authentic. So it's just another tool, especially for me being, um, I have fibromyalgia as well. I'm looking for pain relief sometimes. So sometimes that might help it. I don't know. But anyways, I'm willing to try anything. So that was my Timu haul um, from the end of February, March. I have more Timu hauls coming. So what did you think of the products that I just shared with you? Their pillowcases are really, really nice, depending. I haven't um, had a pillowcase that I haven't liked from them yet. Um, I shared um, in a Valentine's Day kind of Timu haul. Um, 
two pillowcases and they turned out really nice and then I bought two pillowcases for Christmas and I really love those so I have no problems um, buying pillowcases or table runners from Timu so far um, so it's been pretty good so far and then t-shirts I bought one other t-shirt it was an 8x and it's washed really really well I forget what it said on it I think it had dog paws or something on it and it was black I always get black I don't know why I guess black for me is a comfort um, color but black really isn't a color so I've got peach on today so something different but anyways I bought those out of comfort so if you really want like um, comfy t-shirts even though they're polyester it's a soft polyester so I've had no problems with washing them or wearing them I just I wear them big if I want um, smaller ones I will order smaller ones so maybe um, in my next Timu hauls, I might show you the smaller ones. Who knows? <laughs> Who knows what I'll show you next. So tell me down below what was your favorite item out of this Timu haul. I like my teddy bear ears, of course. Um, I think they're those are cute. I like my pillowcases and my table runner. And then I like these um, beauty crystal balls. I can't wait to use them. So... Um, I hope everyone's having a great day. It's beautiful here in southwestern Ontario, Canada today. Another warm day. Um, we had lightning storm last night. Didn't rain all that much, but a lot of lightning around. And then, um, I guess, forecast for the rest of the week is rain and warm temperatures, but we will see. So I hope um, your neck of the woods, wherever you are, the weather is um, in your favor. If not, I hope in the next couple days it turns out nice for you. Um, it's great seeing everybody. I've been having fun coming back and filming these for you. So anyways, even though some days I'm tongue-tied and I don't know what I'm going to say next, that's just me. <laughs> so please like and subscribe and hit that notification bell for all things uploaded by me. Just never know, surprise, what I'm going to say or what I'm going to upload or what I'm going to show you next. Um, take care. I hope you have a wonderful day. I hope the rest of your week goes well. Catch on the flip side. Bye for now.